Good morning. So I haven't thought about this in a long time, but I thought about it, wanted to share. Maybe it'll resonate with someone. Maybe it'll inspire someone. Who knows? So I just want to share it. Um, distractions. I used to consume myself with distractions for doing tasks for people, um, music, shows, just things to keep me busy because there were so many things I was unhappy about um, at, at a point in my life. And I just distracted myself and honestly thought that that would bring me some joy and happiness. And you know what? Distractions are just distractions. They do not bring you joy. They are just distractions. We have to grow as people. We have to expand. We have to contribute. Um, we have to come to the understanding that we are here for a purpose. I don't care what you've gone through. There are no mistakes. There is meaning in your life. There is meaning for your circumstance. There is meaning in your pain. And we just have to take a moment and find that. And if we haven't found that yet, we need to seek. Because if we seek, we shall right and that's universal that's a universal law that's just not for christianity that's just not for for religious people for pious people it is just the law of the universe if we look for it we will find it and so if you're having a hard time trying to figure out like what is my meaning what am i here for why you know why do i keep going through these things or, or why did i have to go through these things start asking yourself how could i contribute or share my experience to help make something else better for someone else? Or how can I take this pain, ball it up, and use it to propel me into what it is I'm really supposed to do or to become who I'm supposed to become? Not just exist in the past of all of what coulda, shoulda, woulda happened, a lot of us should have done a lot of things, but we can't think about that right now. We're in our present state. We are in the present tense and we have to learn how to versus we have to learn how to take all of that stuff and to use it because it's fuel. It's fuel for whatever dream you have. It's fuel for whatever goal you have, especially your pain especially your pain can be your fuel your your pleasure the things that make you happy those are your inspirations those are your motivations you're like man cool or maybe even sometimes it is your driving force because you want to experience more of that happy feeling and that is great too that is something i'm experiencing right now and i'm thoroughly enjoying it but we have to remember that distractions ladies are just distractions at the end of the day we still got to deal with us we still got to deal with anything that deals with us. We still have to deal with our lack of growth. We still have to deal with our lack of follow through. So discover, discover what the meaning is for whatever it is that you went through. Find the higher meaning. Find it. Find it. Because when you start searching for it, you're going to find it. I guarantee it. You're going to find what the meaning is of, of that trauma, of that pain, of that experience, of that rejection, of that whatever it is. You're going to find the meaning. And when you find the meaning, you're going to be able to translate that into something that will propel you forward. That will give you the drive and the motivation to keep going. And maybe even inspire you to make some changes. Um... Most people, unfortunately, don't discover that meaning until someone dies, until they've been diagnosed with death, um, or someone close to them dies. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it, I don't want to live my life like that anymore. I want to take advantage of every moment. And I was listening to um, a tape and he said, maybe somebody should have told us we were dying at the start of our life. So we would do everything in our power to make sure that we were living. Isn't that deep? If someone told you at the start of your life you were dying because they knew that once they told you that, it, you would live your life to the fullest wow right so as we get older we learn and we understand and we become a little bit more aware that death we're meant we're born to die and we start to take advantage and live our lives to the fullest and so if you haven't yet remember your distractions they're just distractions um i've made 
quite a few changes. My family has made quite a few changes in our lives when it comes to watching TV, iPad, when it comes to cable TV. We no longer have it and I'm glad about it. Um, and I'm glad it was a choice and not uh, because we didn't have the means to pay a bill, right? So I'm very grateful for that, that we can make a choice to reject the service, right? Versus the service reject us. Um, thank God for that. But find your meaning, seek it, seek it out, look for it. Because we all want to live a life of significance. That is just a part of one of some of our basic human needs. We want significance and we all look for it for different ways. Some of us look for it on the more positive scale. Some of us look for that significance on a more negative scale, but we all want it. And you cannot really, in my opinion, okay, in my opinion, you cannot really experience or identify or appreciate your significance until you really start to look for the meaning of your life's experiences or circumstances. Um, don't lay down and die. Don't feel defeated. Try to find something down on the inside of you or surround yourself with people that know how to inspire greatness and not smother it. But I appreciate you listening. I rambled on five minutes and 30 seconds too long, but I hope it helps somebody. Um, I'm doing what I love. And in today's day and age, we have so much technology and so many resources to be able to share our gift and to be able to share our purpose and to be able to inspire people that are willing to listen. And I realize some people will ridicule the information, some people will ignore it, and some people will take it and be inspired in some way by it. So I'm going to keep sharing it until I can't share it no more. But anywho, have a wonderful day. Um, I hope this helped. And if you have some comments or if you have something to share, please share it in the comments or DM me. I would love to hear it. Have a good one.